Ann Despike, and I'm Lauren Fulton, here with your broadcast for the week of February 21st. At this point in the semester, we're all preparing for next year. Let's pass it over for, to Owen for a rapid fire review of our school news. Hey Mustangs, with not a lot going on this week, let's do a quick review of some things you might need to know. Seniors, don't forget to stop by the office to double check your name spelling for graduation, as well as sending your first semester transcripts to colleges that are interested. Last week, after reaching an almost all-time high, our lost and found was cleared and taken to donations. Make sure to keep track of your things, Mustangs. Also, don't forget that this week will be a shortened week, with no school on Friday the 25th and Monday the 28th. That's all for now. Enjoy your extended weekend, Mustangs. Back to Lauren and Jess in the studio. Thanks, Owen. Now let's pass it over to Will for some fun challenges. Hey Mustangs, it's Will. Today, we'll be giving challenges to a pair of brothers and a pair of teachers. Our first challenge will be a game of pig between our two brothers here. For this challenge, we'll be giving our Spanish teachers English phrases, and whoever can translate the phrase to Spanish faster gets the point. Alright, the first word is book. Libro! Oh, come on! <laughs> That's fun, I'm sorry. She's gonna break my hand. No, no, I'm kidding. Arr, arr, arr. Okay, the next word is apple. Manzana. <laughs> La maestra. No. The next word is driving. Manejando. Conducir. Oh! I dos. I dos. The next word is laughing. Riendose. Riendose. Reirse. Mm -hmm. And the last Chant. word is turtle. Ah, oh, tortuga! tortuga. <laughs> <laughs> Qué bueno. We've got some real competitive Mustangs. Now let's send it over to Ryan with your athletic breakdown for the week. Hey Mustangs, it's Ryan here with your sports news for the week. We want to give a huge shout out to our Mustang competitive cheer team for winning their fifth straight SMAC title last week. Our Mustang men's basketball team defeated Three Rivers last week by a score of 66 to 36. Our girls team hit the road over to Three Rivers and won by a score of 42 to 39. Last week, Alpine Ski took the slopes on Tuesday at the regional meet at Cannonsburg. And we want to give a big shout out to Daniel Grile for qualifying for the state meet. Now let's send it over to Lexi for an update on women's basketball. Thank you, Ryan. Hey Mustangs, Lexi Springman here. Today I have your athletic update for this week. This week we're gonna be highlighting women's basketball. I had the opportunity to speak with Carly Bouton, member of the women's varsity basketball team to get an inside look on their season. The season right now is going pretty well. We kind of fell back a little bit because of some injuries, but now we are bouncing back and taking on some good competition and we just recently beat Portage Northern which was a good dub. Um, exciting game. Right now we're focused on just like beating like St. Joe like we just found out since we beat uh, Three Rivers Tuesday um, we get to play like St. Joe in our first seed so we focus on beating them right now as of in districts first seed. Um, my favorite memory f so far this season would have to be the whole Portage Northern game we went back and forth with them all of the second half, and um, it was just like a really fun experience after just like having the crowd roaring and stuff like that. It was just like a good experience to have and be a part of. Thank you, Carly. Make sure you get out there and support your woman Mustangs this week, Tuesday and Thursday. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Lexi. Keep up the good work, Mustangs. Now back to you, Jess and Lauren. Thanks, guys. Great job so far this season, girls. Hey, Lauren, have you heard of the Ginsburg Society? I don't know much about it, but let's pass it off to Carter to hear more about the club. Hey Mustangs, Carter here. The Ginsburg Society is a female-focused bipartisan group that focuses on political education and activism. 
This week, the Ginsburg Society is asking for female hygiene products, specifically pads and tampons for the bathrooms here at Portage Central, so females are provided with products when needed. There will be a bin in the Welcome Center for the products. If you have any questions, please contact Sonny Koenig at sonny.koenig at portageps.org or Maddie Strauss at madeline.strauss at portageps.org. Have a great week and back to you in the studio. Thanks, Carter. Be sure to check it out if it sounds like something you would enjoy. A few weeks ago, we did a mock Olympics with some of our staff. Let's check in with Hannah for a recap of these exciting winter events. Hey Mustangs! As the Winter Olympic Games of 2022 draw to a close, a lot of exciting firsts have made the Beijing Olympics one to remember. This week, let's recap some of the most interesting moments of this year's Games. For starters, an exciting fact about the event this year is that it makes Beijing the first city to host both a Summer and Winter Olympic Games. Beijing hosted the Summer Olympics back in 2008. U.S. speed skater Erin Jackson won gold in the 500-meter race. This makes her the first black woman to win a medal in speed skating and the first American to win a medal in the event since the 2010 Games. It's hard to miss the fact that 15-year-old Russian figure skater Kamila Valieva was tested positive for doping, thus making her not allowed to compete in the Olympics. Valieva was a star of the figure skating event, so this issue has been quite controversial and prevalent. On a lighter note, U.S. figure skater Nathan Chen set a new world record for short program figure skating, earning a score of 113.97. Chen won gold for men's figure skating. I'm sure our figure skaters could have gotten the gold. Back to you guys in the studio. They most definitely would, Hannah. Well, that's all for this week, Mustangs. Be sure to tune in next week for more. I'm Lauren Fulton. And I'm Jess Pike. Signing off.